Zelensky asks EU leaders for fighter jets to defend Europe from Russia. Brussels, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is asking European Union leaders for more military equipment, including warplanes, during his Thursday visit to the bloc's home base. We need artillery guns, the ammunition, the tanks, the long-range missiles and the fighter jets, he told the European Council meeting. He also told the news conference that he would discuss aircraft and bilateral meetings with leaders. Earlier, in an address to the European Parliament, Zelensky said Ukraine was defending itself from the most anti-European force of the modern world, adding, We Ukrainians on the battlefield are defending you. Zelensky's visit to Belgium marks the third country on his trip to Western Europe this week after meeting leaders in Britain and France. Here's the latest on the war and its ripple effects around the globe. Zelensky in Europe the European Parliament's president urged EU nations to provide Ukraine warplanes and long-range weapons, among other military equipment it needs. We know the sacrifice your people have endured for Europe, and we must honor it not only with words, but with actions, Roberta Metzola said to Zelensky. States must consider quickly steps to providing long-range systems and the jets you need to protect the liberty too many have taken for granted. Zelensky praised the EU for weaning itself off Russian fossil fuels in his European Parliament speech. The EU banned imports of Russian seaborne imports of crude oil last year, with an embargo on oil products, including diesel kicking in earlier this week. Natural gas deliveries through the main pipeline between Russia and Europe also ended after Moscow stalled supplies and a sabotage attack damaged two pipelines. Zelensky also thanked the EU for awarding candidate status to Ukraine saying it motivated us to be strong and stay the course. Metzola told Zelensky in her introductory remarks that Ukraine is Europe and your nation's future is in the European Union. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said nothing is off the table after Zelensky asked for fighter jets in his speech to the British Parliament this week. I will leave Parliament thanking all of you in advance for powerful English planes, Zelensky told the lawmakers. No country has sent fighter jets to Ukraine so far, Poland and Slovakia have both offered decades-old MiG fighter jets, but transfers have become entangled in discussions among allies. Estonia's prime minister proposed a vaccine-like program to purchase military equipment for Ukraine. Kaya Kalos cited a system used by the EU during the coronavirus pandemic, where countries provided cash but the European Commission negotiated with the pharmaceutical companies to lower the price. We should send a clear signal to the European industry that they need to produce more, she said Wednesday. Other Key Developments Rafael Grossi, the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, has arrived in Moscow, where he is set to advise on the implementation of a nuclear safety and security protection zone around Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, said officials at the UN Nuclear Watchdog. Earlier, the Kremlin said that Grossi would meet state officials but not Russian President Vladimir Putin during his visit. Russia seized control of the power plant last March, and since then, the IAEA has repeatedly expressed security concerns at the plant. Elon Musk's SpaceX has accused the Ukrainian military of using its satellite internet service, Starlink, to power drones. SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell said that while she was pleased that the service has helped Ukraine, Starlink was never intended to be weaponized and Ukrainians have leveraged it in ways that were not part of any agreement. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov slammed the possibility of Britain providing jets to Ukraine, saying such steps would make this conflict more painful and tormenting for Ukraine. He added that providing jets will not fundamentally change the outcome of the conflict or Russia's goals in.
Thank you.